an image through the camera. You can scan the image, scan the slide, looking at the different features. You can also use a fine focusing knob and do your analysis of the blood. Looking at some other features, let's take a look at the bright field functionality. I'll take off the camera, turn off the light, the fiber optic illuminator. This is a power box and the external 50 watt illuminator for the bright field. I'm going to take out the dark field condenser. This is what I was talking about earlier, how you can you can adjust how far in this goes. It's rather tight. I need to loosen it a little bit more. You could push it all the way in and try it, but you may get a better image Hold back just a little bit. Most likely just leave it all the way in. But that's something that can be adjusted. Let's look at the bright field again. The light housing on the back for the bright field just fits into place and then it has a, an allen head socket on the side to tighten it into place this is used for the Face contrast, <clears throat> face contrast and the uh, bright field. This is the bright field light collector at the bottom. This is the bright field light condenser that goes to the bottom. We also have face contrast microscopy capability on this microscope depending on whether or not that's been purchased some of the ads have it as combined where you've got the dark field and the phase and some of the ads don't, ha don't have it on there the condenser is, is, is put into place just like we put in the other ones. I'm going to pull this off. Phase contrast condenser. Slides right onto the condenser holder. And you screw down this knob to tighten it. raise and lower the condenser. You 
can put the light collector on at the bottom. For that light collector to fit, you need to raise everything up. Phase contrast has, has the phase annulus rings inside. BF for bright field. DF for dark field. It does have a dark field dry condenser setting on it. It's got a one where it says 100, that's for use with the 100x objective. 40, that's for the 40x phase objective. 10 for the 10x phase objective. And back to BF for the bright field. We have a phase telescope. That's used in the ocular. That's used to center the phase rings. You have to put on the phase contrast objectives. If you have a 40x phase objective, then you turn it to the 40x setting and you center. You center the phase annulus rings. These knobs in the back. Let me take this off. These knobs are used to center. You push them in, and you turn them. You let them back out. Push it in, turn it to center it, and let it back out. This is an iris. Here's your settings. BF for bright field. 10 for the 10x phase. 40x phase. 100x phase. D for our dark field. There's a dark field dry setting. Overall, that's the functionality of the microscope. It has capability for the dark field, for the phase contrast, and for the bright field. It has photography, video capability on the top, through the top trinocular port, ability to connect to cameras. It has a trinocular lever you pull out to allow the light to go up to the trinoc. That's all.